Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. In this video lesson, we're going to be continuing with looking at numerical computations and finding roots of equations. This time, we will be doing it using the newton raphson technique within Visual Basic for Excel. Again, we are looking at doing a cubic Peng-Robinson equation of state for chlorine at given conditions. And the idea of newton raphson is that we are doing a first-order Taylor series approximation to the function. And so in order to do this, we need to have both the function and its derivative, but we only need one starting point. Graphically, this is what we were looking at, and we've looked at this in a previous video. So moving quickly on, I want to remind you of what our issues were here. This is going to converge very rapidly, but I have to have the derivative at every point, and if it's ever zero, I'm going to be in trouble. So my first guess is going to really make a difference, especially with something that oscillates. I'm going to use relative error, x nu minus x old over x nu, as my way of determining when to stop my calculations. The programming logic is actually much simpler. So I'm going to make a guess of x, and I'm going to choose what's the maximum number of iterations I'm willing to let the computer chug through. And then I'm going to start my counter, and I'm going to evaluate the function and its derivative. Now I'm going to use that to calculate the new value of x, and then compare my new and old value to see whether they're within tolerance. If the answer is yes, then that is my answer. That is the root. And so I can stop the program. If not, then I'm going to say that this is x now, the old x. I'm going to increase i by 1, make sure I haven't exceeded my number of iterations, and I will go back through, calculate f of x, f prime of x, and continue. So the logic is actually simpler. Now, for our problem, what I want you to do is you want to write a new function that will do the derivative calculations. So to do this, you're going to just, uh, after an end sub or an end function someplace, just start typing function, and then I named it my deriv of z. Do whatever code you need. I borrowed heavily from the one that was my function, and then the last line is generally my deriv, so that function name, equals, now notice it's not my deriv of z, just my deriv equals, and then whatever the functional expression is. So this will do that actual final calculation. This is what's going to be returned as the functional value, and then end function. So that's going to get you a new function for the derivative, and then copy one of your previous subroutines and edit it. But now then, you only want to read one point off of the spreadsheet. You want to have a modified formula for calculating what x nu is equal to. Now that's going to require you calling both the my func and my deriv. And then you get to eliminate an awful lot of code. I don't have to decide whether one end is negative or positive, so I can eliminate a lot of that code. So your code should be a lot shorter this time. Now, as you're doing this, I'm going to guess that you are about this time thinking, oh my goodness, why did she not put comments in that routine? Because I wanted to lead you down this little path of treachery, okay? I want you to write comments in your routines so that now then when you have to go back in and edit or go in and you want to borrow some of your previous code, you know what the heck each little piece was doing. So if this section is about reading in the values for the two endpoints on your interval, you could just look for where that part of the code is and say, OK, now then I want it to only read one point. If now then this is the part where I'm determining whether this is x negative or x positive, that's no longer important. I can just delete that code. Now remember, 
comments, you start with just a single quote and then anything after that is ignored by the program, but it turns it green so that it's easy for you to read, okay, as you're going through and editing this. So I would like for you to actually go back into your old code, add comments, and then make these modifications for Newton Raphson. We'll be working with this in class next time I see you in person. Thank you very much for your time.